What's going on guys, my name is Brennan Myers. I'm at the park and we're about to get this cardio workout in 30 for 30 series, which means almost every single day we're getting a bodyweight workout in. So without further ado, let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it all right, so here we go. Cardio is on the agenda. 30 for 30 means every single morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are coming back with a new video, so turn your post notifications on. If we don't post a video, it's a rest and recovery day, just like yesterday was. Now, before we get into the actual workout, I wanna give you a few tips that you could be following, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Quick tip number one. Run on the balls of your feet, meaning if your heels are slamming on the ground, you are running incorrectly. Number two, running with your knees slightly higher than normal will help place your spine in the proper position. Try it for yourself. Number three, when you sprint, you should be running at full speed. Don't slack off. Number four, you are training for a reason. Take your crit, you greens, and let's get healthy. Number five, warm up before training. We do not want any injuries. Again, warm up. And number six and last, when you finish this workout, grab one of my ab workouts from this 30 for 30 series and add it into today. Let's get rolling. All right, here we go. We're starting off with five sets of 20 yard sprints. Now you can go into a three point position if you would like to start off. This is going to allow you to grab a little bit more of the ground. I'm wearing cleats. You can if you want. If not, you can go into a running start. So I'm going to show you both. So a three point stance, essentially, you're going to put your knee by your foot right here, okay? Now you're going to have both your hands here and you're going to bring one up as so. Now this hand is going to be right at the front of that kneecap, okay? And all you're going to do is basically lean forward and rise that butt. And when you come right out, it's going to be a drive here, keeping everything low. Trying to keep insane looking at the ground as you're running through the entire movement. Now the other way you can do this is a rolling start. So back up slightly and what we're going to be doing is all we're going to do, big chest fully straight here, we're going to come here, let one foot drop, okay? So one foot, one knee is going to come up about 90 degrees and then drop and boom, and then it's going to be out, okay? So you're going to be running 20 yards, five sets, just minimal rest in between. Okay, here we go. We're jumping into 50 second high knees. Now you can do this two ways. You can be in one straight position, keeping that chin tucked here, neutral spine and coming up and down as so. But you wanna go fast. Remember, you wanna go fast. It's not a slow movement. It's as quick as possible for 50 seconds. Or you can come here if you have a little bit more knee issues. You don't wanna slam on the ground as much. Keep everything tucked right here and just come as so. 50 seconds, just one set. All right, here we go. 40 short split jumps. Now it's gonna be 20 second rest in between each set, okay? Now short split jumps. Split jumps, basically you're in a lunge position, okay? You don't want your legs to be too far apart and you don't want this to actually, your hip to actually rotate in this position. It's very important that you're keeping everything tight. Now you wanna come low, all right? It is a kind of a leg workout at the same time, obviously. You're doing movements with your legs, right? But you wanna keep everything not fully upright here, but slightly flexed at that hip as so and it's gonna be switching here look at my hand movement nice and wide hands are open this is gonna help you throughout the entire movement okay so there's different types of in and outs today what we're gonna be doing is essentially being in a wide squat okay now the most important thing is you don't want to flex at those hips like this and try and do the movement here okay you want to be upright a little bit more not fully upright but a slight flex in those hips. And all you're gonna do from wide to close, you're gonna be jumping up, back and forth, okay? Now with these, I wanna make sure that you are tucking in your abs, squeezing as much as possible so that you're not flailing everywhere. And if you're a little bit more advanced and you can go here, this is gonna help you go a little bit faster with a different hand movement, okay? But if not, put your hands here and you'll be good to go. Finishing off five sets of 20 yard sprints now again you can start in this three-point position here i do generally like to go in this three-point position but if you let's say you're a little bit more overweight um maybe you don't have a lot of flexibility maybe you just downright don't want to go on the ground at all that's completely fine um i do know a lot of people that are overweight that like to go in this positioning i know 
skinnier people that like to stand up, you know? So it's not even just about being overweight, it's more so about your preference, okay? So if you're gonna be here, all right, you're gonna come out and shoot out of there, or you could be here and it's just leaning forward then, shooting out, and that's your 20 yard sprints, five sets. All right, there you have it. That is your cardio workout for the day. If you can't get to a park, go and try one of my HIIT workouts from previous videos. This is a 30 for 30 series, which means every morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're coming back with a new video. If it's not posted like it wasn't yesterday, it's a rest and recovery day. Now, comment down below. Give me your feedback. Do you like these workouts? Do you want them to be a little bit more intense? Do you want more basic information? Whatever you want, I'm here to help you during this time. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your post notifications on. Check out my Instagram, at the B Myers, and we'll see you next time. Peace.